What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Doctor Who. This is going to be Season 2, Episode 6. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. What the hell was that? Oh, I'm on set. Run! Everybody, in! I've got to go back. My wife's in there. Anyone inside that house is dead. You've got to come with us right now. Bro, she's not your mother. Hello. Never seen a slower getaway in my life. Maybe it's more like a waffle maker. What was that thing? Bit a bit of technology from my home. We have evidence that says Pete Tyler's been working for the Lumix since 20.5. We've got a government mole feeds us information. Lumix private files. <laughs> At first, I thought she said fetus, like a fetus. Broadcast. broadcast from Gemini. I'm Gemini. That's me. Yeah, well, you oh, would dear. say. Encrypted wavelength 657 using binary nine. That's the only reason I was working for Lumic to get information. I thought I was broadcasting to the security services. What do I get? Scooby doing his gang. They even got the van. Exactly. He took my wife. She might still be alive. That's even worse. He takes the living and he turns them into those machines. They're called Cybermen. And I take those earpods off over here. He's still just a businessman. He's assassinated the president. I promise you, this ends tonight. My everlasting children. Tell me, how my everlasting feel? children. We feel nothing. What do you think? We think of the humans. We must be upgraded. Excellent. Baby, let me upgrade you. Activate earpod primary sequence. Begin transmission. Oh. That would be so annoying. So freaking annoying. The whole of London has been sealed off. There are reports of an army, an army of metal men. Remove all earpods. London has been placed under martial law. Those are your pods. I wouldn't be able to keep oh, those in no, my ear. Don't. What's going on? It's the earpods. Lumix taking control. How would you just, I don't know, take them off? Don't. Cause a brainstorm. Why are they all going? Ah. Why is he doing it? He's dying. This all started out as a way of prolonging life, keeping the brain alive. I've seen Cybermen before, haven't I? The head, those handle shapes in Van Staten's museum. They started on an ordinary world just like this, then swarmed across the galaxy. What the hell are you two on about? Come on, we need to get Can't out tell of you. Okay, Can't tell you, bud. Mrs. Moore, you look after that lot. Jake, distract them, go right, I'll go left, we'll meet back at Bridge Street. Oh, they're getting faster, it seems. They know where we are. I don't get it. What is it with you? You are exactly like me. I don't know, I reckon you're braver. Oh yeah, ten times. Still, your friends aren't bad, I'll give you that. Oh, that's the Doctor and Rose. I like ya. I like ya now, Mickey. Looks like we're getting ready to do some choreo. Have a music video. No! They're gonna be right there too. Oh. Dang it. Was that one Mickey or Ricky? Oh, that I am, sir. My earpod must have malfunctioned. I'd like to request an upgrade, sir. I've seen the future, and it's copyright Cybers Industries. Sign me up. A willing volunteer. You've known a me willing a volunteer. Quite a team, you and me. Knowing you so well, I know exactly what to do. I will upgrade. Only with my last breath. Oh. I command you. No. I ran past the river. You should have seen it. The whole city's on the march. Hundreds of Cybermen all down the Thames. Which one are you? I'm sorry, the Cybermen. You couldn't. Are you Ricky? Yeah. Oh. He tried. He was running. There was too many of them. Shut it. There was nothing I could do. I said just shut it. We Rude. can mourn him when London is safe. For now, we move on. We've got to get in there and shut it down. How do we do that? Oh, I'll think of something. You're just making this up as you go along. Yep. But I do it brilliantly. You do. You do. That's I'll the schematic that. of the old factory. Cooling tunnels underneath the plant, big enough to walk through. We go under, then up into the control center. There's another way in. Through the front door. We can't just go strolling up. Fake earpods. 
but put them on, the Cybermen would mistake you for one of the crowd. How many of those you got? Just two sets. That's the best way of finding Jackie. And I'm coming with you. Oh. Why does she matter to you? We haven't got time, Doctor. I'm going with him and that's that. Lumic's transmitting the control signal. It must be from over there. Good thing Lumic likes showing off. Reckon you can take it out. Consider it done. Would you care to accompany me into the cooling tunnels? I mean, I'm not okay, saying that I wouldn't. Cooling tunnels. Above, between, below. We With get the uh, control Jake center, we stop Bear. the conversion machines. What about me? Mickey, you can... Well, stay out of trouble, be the tin dog. No, those days are over. I'm going with Jake. Mickey, good luck. Yeah, you too. If we survive this, I'll see you back at the TARDIS. That's a promise. Mickey, Mickey. Yeah. Good luck. We better see you back at the TARDIS. A device for every occasion. Ooh, I've got a hot dog in there. I mean, I'm starving. <laughs> Of all the things to wish for, that's mechanically recovered meat. I know. It's the Cyberman of food, but it's tasty. <laughs> Come on. That's creepy. Let's go slowly. Keep an eye out for trip systems. Creepy. I just need one of them to reach a hand out. <laughs> just put them on. Don't show any emotion. Don't worry, we can do it. We could die in here. Why are you doing this? That's just how I'm doing it for my mum and dad. I'm just like waiting for them to bust out some sick choreo. Two gods. We can take them. Don't kill him. If you kill him, what's the difference between you and a Cyberman? Valid well, I point. suppose we could use these. Smelling salts. They're stronger than that. Smelling salts? <laughs> There's gotta be more guards on board. Then let's go get them. With more smelling salts. How did you get into this then? Oh, I used to be ordinary. Worked at Cybers Industries. Till one day I found something I'm not supposed to. A file on the mainframe. Then suddenly I've got men with guns knocking in the middle of the night. Then I found the preachers. They needed a techie, so I I just sat down and taught myself everything. Oh shit. Oh, but and it can't sex. No. Did that one just move? It's just the torchlight. Come on. They're waking up. Run! No! Hurry! No! Bye bye. Bye bye. Ooh. You okay? You're not supposed to move. You're not supposed to show motion. All reject stock will be incinerated. No! At least you won't feel it, right? Jeez. Have you signed a Jackie? Confirm. I recognize you. I went first. My name was Jackie Tyler. No. What? You're not her. You're not my Jackie. You really? Her brain is inside this body. Take her to cyber control. They killed her. Maybe we can reverse it. There's nothing we can do. Wow. Which one was it? Which one was it? That's what I'm saying. How are you going to find out? How are you going to figure it out? Find the transmitter controls. What do they look like? Well, I don't know. They might have transmitter controls written in big red letters. Just look. Yeah, how the fuck are you supposed to know what to look for? <laughs> Cyberman. Oh, so you put the costume on and then you go in. It's dead. I don't think it was over a mile. It's empty, no brain. It's just the robot suits for display. Damn it! Upgrade this. <laughs> what the hell was that thing? Electromagnetic bomb takes out computers. I figured it might stop a cyber suit. Let's have a look. Know your enemy. But look. Ew. Is that flesh? Ew. Central nervous system. Oh, but look. Emotional inhibitor. Why? Still got a human brain. Imagine its reaction if it could see itself, realize itself inside this thing. They'd go insane. Why am I cold? Oh my god, it's alive. I broke the inhibitor. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He even cares about him. Name. Look at him. Sorry. He's so sorry, he's so me. caring. You're a woman. I'm cold. I'm so cold. You sleep now, Sally. Let's go to sleep. Sally Feeler didn't die for nothing. 
Because that's the key. The emotional inhibitor. If we could find the code behind it, the cancellation code, then feed it throughout the system into every Cyberman's head. Yeah. And what happens then? I think it would kill them. No! Being override. Let me have a go. I'm good with computers, trust me. I've been captured, but don't worry, Rose and Pete are still out there. They can rescue me. Oh well, never mind. We were too late, we'd be killed then. And where is he? The famous Mr. Lubick. Working remotely. Oh! He even got a new fancy chair. Look this at that. This is the age of steel and I am its creator. Look at that. Oh, he's about to wake up. Yep. I saw you moving back there. He's moving. Come and have a go. Actually. Damn. Damn. That's my friends at work. Good boys! Mr. Lubick, I think that's a vote for free will. I have factories waiting on seven continents, and the Cybermen will take humanity by force. London has fallen, so shall the world. Hold on, I've logged on to nah. Cyber Control. Nah. They're alive. Nah. The Doctor and Rose, there they are. Never mind them, what the hell is that thing? Shh. I will bring peace to the world. An imagination? What about that? Imagination? You're killing it dead! What is your name? I'm the doctor. Oh, Lumi, you're a clever man. I call you a genius, except I'm in the room. But everything you've invented, you <laughs> did to find your sickness. And that's brilliant. <sighs> that is so human. The Cybermen won't advance. You just stop. You stay like this forever. Lacking the one yeah, thing like... that makes this planet so alive. People. You are proud of your emotions. Have you known grief and pain? Yes, I have. And they hurt. Oh, yes. I can set you free. Would you not want that? You but then well you have no me. feelings at then all. I take that option. No feelings, it's no... Not yours to take! You have no means of stopping me. You just don't get it, do you? An army's nothing! The most ordinary person can change the world! Some idiot! All it takes is for him to buy, say, the right numbers. For example, the code behind the emotional inhibitor. The code right in front of him. He's talking to you! He knows how to get past Firewalls and passwords. And the, uh, what was it, Pete? Binary what? Binary nine. An idiot can find that code. Your words are irrelevant. Oh no, they're not. Lucky I got that cheap tariff, Rose. For all our long chats on your phone. Phone. Delete, control, hash, all those lovely buttons. Then of course my particular favourite. Send. Let's not forget how you seduced all those ordinary people in the first place. That's pretty cool. Making every bit of technology compatible with everything else. It's for you. Like this. I'm sorry. So do they all die? What have you done? I gave them back their souls. They can see what you've done, Lumic, and it's killing them! Delete! Delete! No way out! If that factory blows up, this balloon's gonna ignite! Take it back! Nikki, the panic! I said take it back! We're not leaving them behind! There's no way we're leaving them behind! I'm with you, Mick. Can you hear me? Head for the roof. It's Mickey. He says head for the roof. Okay, so they, they had a special effects budget for this episode, huh? Bye-bye, no! Waffle Maker. Mickey, why did you have to fly that thing? PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh, you can't go any lower. I've got to. There's got to be something. There's got to be. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You've got to. Go, 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 go. Welcome to Mickey's with their eyes. Please enjoy your flight. Woo! I love Mickey. Damn it. Kick him off. Cut it off. Step on his head. Take this. Do this. Hold the button down. Press it against the run. Just do it. Jackie Tyler. This is for her. Come on! <laughs> Toodles! Toodles! We all just hanging out. Who are you? 
Rose Tyler. It's like you say. Imagine there are different worlds, parallel worlds, worlds with another Pete Tyler and Jackie Tyler still alive and their daughter. I've got to go. But if you just look inside... No, I can't. There's all those looming factories out there. All those Cybermen still in storage. Rose! I've only got five minutes of power. The doctor could show you. Thank you. Uninterested. Dad. I just, just don't. Rude. Alan, Jake, we've got to run. But one more thing. Mrs. Moore. Her real name is Angela Price. She's got a husband out there. And children. Tell them how she died saving the world. Yeah, of course I will. Off we go then. Then uh, you can come back and visit me, Jake. Thing is, I'm staying. It sort of balances out because this world lost its Ricky, but there's me, and there's work to be done with all those Cybermen still out come there. Come on, Mickey, stepping but up, you can't yes. Stay. Come on, Rose, Mick. My grand's here. She's still alive. My whole grand. Remember her? Yeah. She needs me. What about me? What if I need you? That's sweet. Yeah, but Rose, you don't. You got the doctor, Rose. It's just you and him, isn't it? We had something a long time ago, but not anymore. Well, we'll come back. We can travel anywhere. Come and see, yeah? We can't. Why? I told you, travel between parallel worlds is impossible. We only got here by accident. We, we fell through a crack in time. When we leave, I've got to close it. So you, we're never going to see Mickey again? We can't ever return. Doctor. Take Rose's phone. It's got the code. Get it out there. We'll never see Mickey again. Good luck. But I like Mickey. Mickey the idiot. <laughs> Watch it. Mickey the idiot. Thanks. We've had a laugh though, haven't we? Seen it all, been there and back. Who would have thought me and you off the older state, flying through the stars? All well, these years just sitting there, imagining what we'd do one day. We never saw this, did we? I don't want Mickey to stay. I want him to stay on the show. Now I'm sad. I knew it. I was like, I'm just now getting into Mickey. Oh, okay. Mickey's gone now. But at least he didn't die. Or is he Ricky telling them that he's Mickey so that they don't be, they're not heartbroken. Could be that. Jake, you want to watch this? What the hell? That's the doctor in the TARDIS. I guess it is Mickey. With Rose Tyler. Dang it. We're alive. Come on, we're alive. Well, it was the last time I looked. What is it? What's happened, sweetheart? What's wrong? Where did you go? Far away. Where's Mickey? He's gone home. Where's Mickey? He's gone home. I know it's not easy with my face looking exactly like Ricky, but I'm a different man. I'm not replacing him. But we can remember him. I'm fighting in his name. With all those cyber factories out there, do you think there'd be one in Paris? Yeah. Then let's go liberate Paris. What, you and me? In a van? There's nothing wrong with a van. I want to save the universe with a big yellow truck. Come on. Come on, Mickey and Jake. Is that the, really the last that I'm gonna see of Mickey? No, he'll, he'll probably come back in some sort of capacity, I'm sure. Maybe, maybe every now and then. I don't know. I don't know. That makes me sad, though. But, I mean, there had to come a point where he wasn't just gonna, like, follow those two around everywhere. You know? That was a good, that was a good, another good episode. That, that was a nice conclusion to that, you know, first parter. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. I do think I'm, I've said it before, but I've, uh, I'm definitely feeling season two. Uh, I definitely love this doctor. I liked the previous doctor. I love this one. So um, I'm excited about what's to come. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.